My name is Carolyn Ruff, and I'm the organizer of Black Lives Matter, Women of Faith. Uh, the president and vice president is LaShawn Latrice. So she and I um, heard about the young lady that was uh, abused in one of the Misha's uh, chain stores in um, North Carolina, and we found out that um, the owner of the Chicago store is also the owner of uh, the North Carolina store. So I called her and we decided to uh, boycott the Misha here in Chicago. And so we've been there. Um, today would be our 107th day, nonstop. Uh, we both work uh, when she can come out there. She's in school for her PhD. But when she can come out there, she's out there supporting the boycott as well, along with her two girls. They're part of Black Lives Matter Women of Faith as well. So we are um, so happy to say that we are making a big progress. Uh, we're educating. Our main focus is to educate the community, show them the video of this incident um, in Charlotte, North Carolina, and um, try to redirect our monies to black to the black com uh, community or businesses that um, basically sell the same uh, products as we got on our side God got us in control of this uh, boycott we're going to keep it up and um, so far I could say that We've turned a lot of people away. They're hurting in their businesses. We're looking at what we came to do, and that's to stay focused. That's to shut Misha down, not only in Chicago, but in New York, in um, Charlotte, Atlanta, Georgia. I know that they are boycotting as well in Atlanta, Georgia. People, please come out and support this boycott. Now is the time for us to fight for our community. So I'm please asking young people, high school people, please come out and join this boycott. It's very important. We're not saying how long it takes because some some of the activists thought that it would take oh it it would be successful overnight. But anything that's successful is not done overnight. We know that a boycott could last a year. It could last longer. However, we're going to continue to boycott Misha, they're going to continue to lose money, and eventually they will move out of our community. Now what Misha does, they take your money from our community. They don't give back, they don't believe in giving back, they take your money to their community, and they support their community. Well, we need to start looking at our community to support our community, and we could do it. And I guarantee you, with the killing of all of the young people, with the drugs and stuff like that that's going on in our community, that will stop. Because our young people will realize that we do have a community, and they would like to uplift and keep our community. And I guarantee you, some of the killing will stop. What's been the response of uh, people in the community that see you out there? Um, quite. I'm very impressed, um, especially people in cars, they're honking their horns, keep up the good work, giving me the uh, black power sign. I'm really happy and very impressed on how this boycott is going. So I could get some of the leaders out there. I've talked to churches and, um, of course, leaders as well, but I'm not getting that support, but that's okay, you know. Uh, maybe it's a reason why I'm not getting support from them. Maybe it's our time to um, step up to the plate. And how has Misha been responding? Um, very um, hateful, disrespectful. Um, um, just very disrespectful, I should say. Very disres disrespectful.
got his crown in front of a crowd. They march with the torch. We gon' run with it now. Never look back. We hundreds of miles from dark roads. Heroes to become a hero. Facing the weak of justice.